What's up KBO fans, this is game day. In this video, I'm going to talk about news in KBO and give you guys some updates about the KBO. Before we start, please subscribe this channel. So this was the standings for the last week. NC was first, Doosan was second, LG was third, Hana Eagles in the last. NC, Doosan, and Kium had really good week. They were 5 and 1. In contrast to those dream teams, KT went 1-5, Hanwha Eagles was 0 and 6. Last week we talked about Hanwha Eagles lost 8 straight games, and this week they lost 6 straight again. So they lost 14 straight, including this week's games. And 14 straight losing streak is the fifth longest in KBO history. Even though this is early in the season, they're doing so bad. And right after 14th lost, Eagles manager Yong Dok Han resigned. He managed the Eagles two years and two months. His record as the manager was 142 wins, one draw, and 176 losses. While 14 straight losses, Eagles outscored 120 to 36. And ERA, team ERA was 8.11, walked 67, and they gave up 26 homers. What about the batting? Their batting average was 0.207, and they hit only 18 home runs. Remember I talked about Ramos playing in LG? He hits 12 home runs already. So for the Eagles, batting and pitching both look pretty awful. So I'm not sure how they're gonna bounce back, but they might change some foreign players or find good manager, but it's not gonna be easy. This second news is really interesting if you're a baseball fan. SBS, one of Korean broadcasting company, reported Matt Harvey, former MLB player, has received interest at least one of KBO teams, and MLB trade rumors has confirmed this. In my opinion, it looks like SK Wyverns. One of their foreign player, pitcher Nick Kingham, is not doing well and he has not played for about three weeks because his sore elbow he only pitched two games his era was 6.75 so if sk decide to replace the kingdom to harvey there are some other obstacles there is two week mandatory quarantine upon arrival in south korea also pitchers need more time to build up to game readiness so you're thinking about like four to six weeks if sk wants to really replace the player they are taking really high risk do i think matt harvey will play really well Korea? I highly doubt it because Harvey was really really good like six seven years ago if you see his stat in 2019 with the Angels he pitched only about 60 innings and his ERA is over seven so I don't think Harvey will be a good pitcher or good replacement for other foreign players but if Harvey comes to Korea this might be another interesting to watch in KBO And the last news is, June is the Veterans Remembrance Month in Korea. So to commemorate, KBO teams wear military-themed jerseys, like this. So some teams release new military jerseys. This year, Samsung Lions and Hana Eagles released their new military jerseys. One looks really neat, but the other looks awful, in my opinion. So this is new Hana Eagles military jersey. They collaborate with a special flight team in Republic of Korea Air Force called Black Eagle. Although they don't use their team color orange in this jersey, I want to give 9 out of 10. It just looks really really good. Even though they are not playing well, but their military jersey is one of the top in KBO. On the other hand, my team Samsung Lions, they released this blue camo pattern jersey. They put this stupid lion camo pattern in front. As Lions fan, I don't even know what to say. It just looks so awful. I would give 2 out of 10. This is my opinion, but I want to hear from you. So put any comments what you think. If you if you like Samsung Lions camo jersey, that's fine. Just let me know what you think. So this is all for today. If you want to hear more interesting news next week, please subscribe this channel. And if you have any questions about KBO, please leave comments below. Thanks for watching and see you guys next week.